on that test, which is relatively cheap, and so it can be utilized frequently, is being credited for allowing the University of Illinois to hold some in-person classes this fall. And now there are hopes that it can be rolled out to other parts of the state. Researchers say the saliva-based test can return results in three to six hours rather than three to six days, as is the case with some current nasal swab tests. Officials calling it a game changer. Illinois' saliva test is less expensive, faster, and requires significantly less raw materials than traditional testing. The test developed by scientists at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, winning FDA emergency use approval on the heels of a similar test created by Yale researchers. At just $10 a specimen, tests can be done frequently. It's currently being utilized on the U of I campus, where students are returning for the fall semester this week. Results can be accessed on an app that can then be shown at campus events and establishments that require it. The faster we can find individuals who are positive and get them isolated, the better. And if we can do a fast test and we can do it frequently, finally, the numbers tip and suggest we can defeat this virus. A summer pilot program showing promise with the campus test positivity rate dropping dramatically in July. The development comes as Illinois is at a tipping point, with cases climbing in several parts of the state. Four counties in our area, Kane, LaSalle, Grundy, and Will, are at warning level for possible reimposed restrictions. This is precisely the time that we have to act. We want to prevent from getting into a very bad spot. Underscoring the need for action, Dr. Zike says the national test positivity rate has declined for four consecutive weeks, but Illinois' test positivity rate has actually increased during that time. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.